Hello. What I want to do here is use synthetic division to find the zeros, but actually I'm going to use technology and then show my work using synthetic division. All right? So I'm going to find the zeros of the, this polynomial with um, either of these, the Casio FX115 ES Plus, really good calculator, really sturdy, very versatile, does a lot. It's a workhorse. And the TI30XS Multi-View by Texas Instruments. Again, a really good calculator. Um, a lot of options. They do a lot of work for me. Um, the deal is they're both about the same price. You can find them at retail around $20 or under. Anything over $20, it's significantly marked up. Around $19.99. You can get them off the shelf as low as seventeen, sixteen ninety nine. I get on this one on Amazon for thirteen dollars with free delivery through Prime. Um, first thing you want to do is set up your rational root theorem, which is p over q. P is going to be the back number six. Q is going to be the front number one. I haven't used any really difficult problems. These are all factorable polynomials. So the factors of 6 are going to be plus minus 1, plus minus 2, plus minus 3, and plus minus 6, all over the factors of 1, which is kind of simple, just plus minus 1. This is going to generate a whole bunch of possible solutions. That can give me 6, negative 6, I'm sorry, negative 3, I'm doing it from least to greatest, negative 2, negative 1, 1, 2, 3, and 6. So if I was actually doing this by hand, I would have this many guesses. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 guesses to find 3 of the actual answers. Because by the fundamental theorem of algebra, if it's raised to a third power, that means there's going to be 3 complex solutions. Um, I'm going to cheat up and use the calculator. I, I don't want to guess. And most people usually guess at the 1. I'm going to get those answers out of the way right now. x sub 1 equals, x sub 2 equals, and x sub 3 equals. I'm not going to be rude, though. I'm going to show my work after I get those answers. First thing I want to do is turn this on. And I'm going to hit mode 5 for equation. And then 4, because it's an x cubed. That's the highest degree this particular calculator will solve. It has its limitations. So mode 5, 4. And now, just like synthetic, in synthetic, don't I write down the leading coefficients, which are 1, negative 7, and 6? I'm feeling a little nervous here. There doesn't seem to be enough information, and I see it. There's actually a 0x squared. So I should have a 1, a 0, a negative 7, and a 6. You need that placeholder to do synthetic, and you need it to use this calculator. Now, it's asking me what the first coefficient is. And in this case, the first coefficient is 1. So I enter a 1, and then I hit the equal sign. And it moves over and asks me what the second coefficient is. Now, if I had done this incorrectly and I didn't put that 0 there, it would have given me the wrong answer. So I'm going to hit 0 equals negative 7 equals, and it slides over and asks me for the last term, 6 equals. Now, when I hit equals, it gives me one of the solutions. And it says x1 is negative 3. It says x2 is 2, and x3 is 1. Now, I'm going to be kind of shrewd, and I'm going to write 1 there, 2 there, and negative 3 there. Because I'm going to do synthetic division now to prove that those are the correct answers. And here it comes. I'm going to take that actual answer and put it in my little placeholder there. And I'm going to go through the process of synthetic division. 
I know this works. It's right there. What's one plus zero? One. What's one times one? One. What's zero plus one? One. What's one times one? One. What's negative seven plus one? Negative six. Well, I have to slow down a little here. What's one times negative six? Negative six. What's the remainder? In this case, the remainder equals zero. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to, again, use synthetic division to show, to prove that 2 is the next solution. So I put my 2 over here. What's 1 plus 0? 1. What's 2 times 1? 2. What's 1 plus 2? Whoops, 3. Almost said it was 2. What's 2 times 3? Well, 2 times 3 is positive 6. And that gives me a remainder of 0. Now, I can say that this is going to be x plus 3 equals 0, and then solve it. Or, I can continue using synthetic division and throw a negative 3 in that little place. So, here we go. I'm going to put a 0 there. What's 1 plus 0? Well, 1 plus 0 is 1. What's negative 3 times 1? Negative 3. Again, I get a remainder of 0. And each of these are solutions to this polynomial. And that's how you find the solutions using the Casio and then show your work by using synthetic division. Thank you.